everyone. So I'm working on a spring project. I was in at a um, store that's called Home Goods. I don't know if you guys have them in your area. It's um, most of the stuff is really expensive, but I was actually returning some things and I saw these placemats sitting in one of the aisles and the thing that popped into my head, look at how pretty these are. I love this color. So I got um, one, two, three, there's four of them here for $6.99. I know that's outrageous, but just wait till you see what I'm going to do with these things. What I'm going to do is I'm going to be making um, paper flowers and building it up in a dome so that it looks like it's this is a hat. So I would hang this on my door like so, and then the flowers are going to dome up so it looks like there's a hat hanging on my door. So it's going to be several parts to this video. Um, it'll be all one video, but you'll see it being chopped off because I'm going to do a flower and um, then do another flower and that kind of thing. So I looked on Cricut Design Space and I really, really like the flowers in the um, My Flower Shop um, cartridge, I guess they call it, image set. And so, so far, I have created the daffodil. I have no idea if this is the right way to do it, but I did it and I liked how it turned out. So I'm going to share it with you. This one's still drying. Let me just hold it up here to the camera. It's kind of three dimensional. Let me get these out of the way and I'll do one for you. All right, so the pieces that it comes with, it comes with this um, little, what I did is like an orangey color. And then you get three of these. I actually cut out four of the flowers all together. You get one of these and one of these. So let's put all these aside. And we're going to put this flower together. Um, I actually found my quilling glue. Um, it's not made for quilling. It's The glue is not made for quilling. The actual device is. Um, if you have never tried quilling before, oh my gosh, it's so much fun. It's so relaxing. Um, maybe I'll do some quilling leaves or something and put it on this hat thing as well. All right, so we're going to do that just like that. I'm going to set that aside. Uh, let me make some adjustments. And when I went to pick it up, I messed it up. So it doesn't have to be perfect. So just want it to stay together. That's the lead that I'll do later. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? Let's start over. Um, it's, it's kind of important to do this now. Uh, I'll wait for that to dry, but you need to take your leaves sorry, your petals, and fold them up like this. I did forget to do that one. I'll do it later. Yeah, it was kind of a strange thought when I looked over and I saw those placemats. And just the, the hat just popped in my head. I thought, oh, I'm going to try that. So, all right. Put that down there. And then this one's going to go on top. And then we'll set this aside. Okay. Um, you want to do the same thing to the leaf. You want to fold that up. Now you are going to need this in here to glue. So you don't need to fold all of that one there. So we're going to put that there. All right. So I looked at this piece and I thought, what the heck is this? I'm staring at the image on the Cricut Design Space, and I, I was like, I have no idea. So here's what I came up with. I think it's the correct thing. Um, I just took a pencil, like so, and I put a tiny bit of glue right there. And then I held that. So that's going to be the middle of the flower, which is that part right there. Now you could use your um, score tape, which that's probably a better idea because then you don't have to sit here and hold it, let it dry. Okay, and then what I did with this, again, I just, I looked at the picture, is I put this down in, let me close up my pencil here, the middle here. I made this one pretty small, so let's see if it actually works. I may have to loosen that up a little bit. 
Yeah, I'm going to loosen that up a little bit. It's having a hard time. Um, I'm also going to put score tape. So I, I, I take back what I said about the glue. The score tape is going to work better. Now I got glue all over my fingers. Yeah, hate that. Makes everything stick. So yeah, I really, really like all the flowers on this image set. So I'm going to be using, I'm going to say probably most of them, most of the flowers I make on this. Okay, I'm going to grab a little wet wipe here. Get this glue off my finger as best I can. Okay, that should be good. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and stick this down in. Yeah, see, it goes in there a lot better. Um, so then I looked at this and I said, I have no idea what this is. So what would I do with it? So what I did was I folded it up like this. And I'm going to bring my uh, petals back in. I'm also going to put my um, leaf on at this point. Let's turn it over so we can see the back of it where I'm putting it. Oops. This is supposed to be relaxing, right? I don't want it sticking to my paper here. Okay. Then I put a little bit of glue right here. Okay, a lot of, a lot of it. How's that? Set this down right there. And then, because this is pushed down, it makes it a flat surface. So you have to make sure that it's kind of sticking out there. Again, this, I don't, I don't know if this is the right way, but this is what I came up with. I don't like how that's all crookedy. There we go, that should be better. I do like how this is three dimensional though, that's so cool. All right, and then I'm gonna put that right here. I'll grab my pencil. You can use the eraser side too. And just hold it down there like that. And then you have your little, you know, the inside of your flower. All right, so let's do that one more time. I think um, this is actually, I've got one more after. Oh, you know what, let's go back to this one. All right, so this one, again, I should have folded my petals before I glued it. Looks like it worked out. Fold the leaf, leaving this side flat. Flip that over. And then that, that'll dry. Now let's go ahead and put this together again using the score tape. Much better idea. And we'll make this into a little circle. Roundy round. Oops, wrong way. Wrong way, meaning that the score tape was on the inside. I was trying to make it go on the outside. Okay, I'm going to give it a little bit of slap. Hold that down a little bit. All right, time for this guy. Shove that down in there. Making sure that it's flat there so you can glue that down. And then I'm going to take this guy. Well, maybe it's a girl. We don't know. Oops. Put that there. Now, I have to admit, in the picture, on the Cricut Design Space, I do not see this little green place uh, thing right here. Um, so I, I may be not doing this correctly as I mentioned a thousand times already.
Okay, so um, I am going to be using my glue gun to be putting these um, flowers on that placemat. Okay, so that's the daffodil. Um, let's move on to the next flower. All right, so here's flower number two design. And this is again from um, the Close to My Heart flower market. I actually told you the wrong one for the daffodil. Um, it is the Close to My Heart flower market. This one had a lot of cuts to it. I actually didn't cut one of the mats out. Um, I got distracted and then I came back and I was like, what color did I cut? And so I, um, I stopped at this, what I'm doing here. Okay, so here's all plus one more that I didn't cut out. And um, as you cut the mats, like I asked it to cut four, um, you'll see there's going to be four here, but the, the mats will guide you as to, um, you know, how you want to cut it. Um, I don't need to use my quilling glue for this one. All right, so I'm just going to stack them on top of it. I noticed I had tore one of the petals off on this. I'm really not concerned. So what, am I get? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay them on top of each other so that you can see through. That's my idea. I don't know if it's going to work, but that's what I'm shooting for here. And it's going, you know, different sizes and different colors. I was, you know, after, after it's all said, said and done, um, I really want to pick more of the three-dimensional. But what I can do is I can actually um, lift up on these petals and make them, um, you know, a little bit more three-dimensional. I'll show you here in a second. This is a really fun one. Isn't that beautiful? For a card especially too, right? Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is just work the the petals so that they kind of pop up a little bit. Probably not how it's supposed to be, but um, and you can pick whatever colors you want. I just picked like a lavender, a deep purple, a light purple, and I did the gray for the top layer. Okay, so that's that's what I was thinking is just kind of bringing them up a little bit. Okay, so that one was easy peasy. Let me go back onto the images and see what else I can make. Okie dokie, here we go. This is flower number three. Oh goodness, my voice. Flower number three. Okay, so what you have here is you have three um, a large, a medium, and a little bit smaller. And then you have th three of these per flower. And then one of these and the little centerpiece. The um, Cricut d d uh, colors defaulted differently than what I'm doing here. They were pink, and I decided I wanted to do it yellow. So I'm just going to put this together really quick. It's really... It, um, it's very similar to the chrysanthemum design where you're just gonna, you know, put the layers down like this. I'm really having a fun time putting these flowers together. I gotta be honest with you. And I'm sure that <laughs> um, I'm not doing it 100%. I keep saying that, but I just want to make a, a very an out of it point that this is my version. Look at that, how easy that went together. Okay, I'm just gonna put my thumb on that dot right there and show you when I once I go to put put it on the hat, I want these to all be sticking up. Not necessarily the gold layer, but you know, and also I was sitting here cutting this out thinking I never mentioned any of the, the paper. These are from random, um, you know, anywhere from Basil to American Crafts to Die Cuts with a View. Um, if, uh, you know, you need me to be more specific, which it really doesn't matter. Um, you know, if you can give me a buzz on the comment section and then I'll, um, 
I'll try to remember which ones I used. So, okay, that's the daisy. Look at that. So cute. Okay, I'm going to make up the rest of them and then look through what else I have for my choices of flowers. Alrighty, so uh, here's another flower. This one's a real simple one to put together. Um, I'm making four of each, so um, let's set these aside. We'll do this one here. Um, the pieces that go with this one, uh, I believe this one is like the hibiscus. Um, let me finish that here. <clears throat> and um, it's just, like I said, very simple, three layers. I'm gonna put that like that, and then this goes on top of this. Um, this is still from the Close to My Heart, um, gosh, um, I would have to click on it. Oh, Close to My Heart Flower Market. Completely forgot which one I was using. All right, so let's put this together. This is only gonna take a second, and we're gonna move on now. I'm gonna go ahead and try to find more uh, flowers that are of uh, three dimensional ish like this because right now here's here's what we got I'll just keep you guys going here um, my oh, sorry I had to reach underneath my desk so my idea as I explained in the very first video is to take this mat um, this is actually a whole uh, circle but I cut it in half and I actually used my um, bone folder to do it so I'm going to put this like this, because that's going to be the dome of the hat. And then I'm going to be putting the flowers around it like so. Now I do have some material that I'm going to cover this with that um, I'm going to have like a, oh, a little tail that hangs off of it. Um, it's not just going to be, you know, stuck right on the, the uh, styrofoam piece. So like I said, these are going to go around here like this. So I think I'm going to want more of these 3D flowers, which I will go on right now and check to see what's available. All right, that's just updating you, and on we go. Okie dokie. So as I mentioned in the previous uh, quick video, I was looking for some 3D flowers, so I really love this. I love that it's so easy to put together, um, and it's from the flower shop on Cricut Design Space. Oop, I was going to put glue on it, but that's not going to hold it. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to put some score tape right here and right here. And I was considering possibly making some flowers out of some pattern paper. So I'm going to go through see what I have that inspires me. Okay, so that will sit on the hat as well, just like that. Um, I also found some leaves that I'm going to be considering putting on. I went ahead and cut out 10 of them. These are like little strips that are going to be poking up like that. And I got this from the Giant Flower on Cr Cricut Design Space, which is like never even knew it was there. So, all right, let's go uh, move on. I'm actually going to, uh, at this point, choose the material that I'm going to be using to cover that styrofoam dome. And we'll get started on that. And then I'm going to put everything together and see how much more I'm going to want to put on there. So hang on till the next one. Alrighty, so I went into my material stash, which by the way isn't very much because I don't sew. But I don't know, something happened a, a few years back where I was buying a bunch of scraps of material to do a project. And I can't remember which project it was. Anyway, so I have this and I thought this would be perfect for what I'm trying to do. Um, Again, this is just a half piece of a circle. I think they use these for making flower arrangements. And I'm going to say that this piece of material is probably, oh, I don't know, maybe 18 by 18, and it has a little bit of an uneven thing here, but um, it doesn't really matter for what I want to do. All right, now I have no idea if this glue is going to melt the styrofoam. So my plan is to put it on the actual material. This is all something completely new to me. I've never made anything like this. Um, and thank you for coming along for the, the ride. All right, so I'm gonna fold this one over. And just let that sit there. And then I'm gonna fold another piece over. So if you guys have 
worked on projects like this before and you see what I'm doing and have suggestions, um, you know, please leave a comment because, oh, other than sticking your finger in the hot glue. Okay, that didn't hurt that bad. <laughs> um, so I'm going to fold this one over like this. And then I got glue strings all over the place. Then I think I'm going to put some glue right here. And fold this one over like this. And let's see where we're at on this so far. Okay, so I think I want to do one more here. And then um, I didn't like how that was sticking up. So, dang it, I keep sticking my finger in the glue. Um, all right, so let's go ahead, fold this one over. And then put a little bit right here. And then a little bit right here. I want it to be able to be the shape of the dome and not have these pieces that are scraggling out. All right, so folding that there. And then <clears throat> see how I can fix this. All right, so I'm just going to put some right here. And fold that down. Okay, so the next thing I want to do, and I have a feel I'm going to need to put a lot of glue on this one. I hope this works. If not, I think, and I'll, I'll videotape all this, even the things that didn't work out, um, so we know, like, if we want to actually do this again. Um, but my, my lost, lost my thought process here. I think if this doesn't work out, I might go run up to Michael's and buy <clears throat> some... Um, I think they call them hat pins because I looked through my stash and I couldn't find any hat pins. Okay, so let's go with that. And I'm going to flip this around, try to get it in the middle like so. Okay, so I'm not real concerned about the scraggly ends here. Okay, cute so far. It looks like it's in the middle. All right, so then I have this really cute um, orange ribbon that's got, um, it doesn't really have wire in it. I thought it did, but so I'm going to tuck this underneath here. and bring this around just like that. Just kind of measuring it. I want it to be pretty tight. I don't want it to bring that around again. I'm going to use the hot glue gun. I think it'll work on this ribbon, but you never know. So we will try. Bring this up without burning my fingers. Yeah, so I don't know any other way. I may even let this sit um, something heavy on top of it. I'm trying to think of what I have that would stay that not wouldn't roll out. Well, I'll figure that out. I am putting some pressure on it as well. Okay, so I'm I'm sitting here thinking, oh my gosh, what if it went through onto my desk? All right, um, so I'm actually going to try to find something that I can put on this to put some weight on it, and then um, I'll come back and put the flowers on it. All righty, so I literally just sat here for like five minutes, and um, it stuck. It's good. I'm going to be hanging this on the wall. Ooh, so let's put the flowers on. I'm so excited. Um, I'm going to be using the hot glue again. Um, no clue if it's going to work, but we're going to go for it. Right, and it's just going to go 
willy-nilly. Now I do want to make these a little bit more dimensional, so I'm going to go ahead and just do this now instead of doing it once it's on the hat. Set that down here for a second. Okay, so then we'll do this one. Um, this one I'm not really sure how to do it so that it'll stay. I may just give it a little shove to flatten it out a little bit. That might work. I'm not going to touch it. Okay, so then let's do... A little daisy or mum or whatever you want to call it here. Yeah, see this one is there. Um, now go with this gray one and put this here. So um, as I mentioned in a previous video, I probably will be putting more flowers on here. I think one daffodil will be fine. Let's go back also, it looks like I probably could use some smaller flowers and put those in there. I'm really thinking hard about this. Oh, I forgot this one. Yeah, I mean, I could even go down like this onto the hat, since we're not actually wearing a hat, right? Um... Let's see what this purple one right here would look like. Yeah, this one here, is, as much as I wanted a 3D, I don't know if that's going to work. Not 3D, but dimensional. All right, so let's bring in these leaves. I think I'm going to uh, fold it down and do this. And I definitely want to put different, a different style of a leaf, like a bigger one. Wider, wider I should say. Get these guys out of the way. Oh my gosh, this is so much fun. I love when my brain does stuff like this, it sees things. Very cute. Okay, so I see an empty spot right here. So I'm going to go ahead and put this one here, there. And I'm going to put one more of these leaves and then I'm going to go ahead and try to find some more bigger ones and then a little bit of um, smaller flowers. Get my finger in there. I'm just grabbing whatever's on my desk. Okay, very cute. All right, so I am kind of not liking this now. I'll change my mind about that. So I'm going to trim that off. Could even do like a fishtail as well. Put that up there. Okay, so I'm gonna um, I'm gonna go back onto Cricut Design Space and see what other flowers that I can make that are smaller but still have some dimension to them. So I'll be back. Okay, so I found this here. I've done a video before and I used the um, the spiral. This is from my flower shop again. And basically, what you do. You can start it with the pencil, you can start it with your hand, whatever you feel comfortable with. And then you're just going to run um, a drop of glue. Well, actually, if I can get my quilling glue to work. No, they're both dried up. Okay, hold on one second. Okay, here we come. So I'm not putting a lot of glue. Well, okay, changing my mind there. But you just want to wrap it. Take my pencil out like this and this makes the most adorable flowers. Okay, I'm going to keep wrapping 
you could put you know like pieces of score tape around it if you don't want to work with the glue I'm probably holding this up so you guys can't even see it and this is squirting out way too much you only need a tiny bit so I'm just gonna keep wrapping it around and I picked orange I thought it needed had needed some orange in it Try to get that off my finger there. Um, when I said quilling glue, it's really Tombow glue in there. It's just a quilling tip. There's, I don't know if there's anything such, such thing as quilling glue, but um, I, I said quilling glue. I wanted to correct myself there. Okay, almost done. Well, I am barely squeezing that glue. Funny. it's like when you don't want it to come out it squirts out and then when you want it to come out and found it all so. all right so there's that little flap there you want to go ahead and do that because that's going to uh, make the bottom on it and I just turned off my um, glue gun Break this out a little more. I just want to show you how I made this flower and then I'm going to go ahead and make the other ones as well now you can loosen this up and make this flower bigger or you can make it bigger. This one is actually only two inches in um, height. But uh, I only wanted little ones because I wanted it to kind of go in between. So I'm going to heat up my glue gun and I also went ahead and cut out some different leaves. So I'm going to be placing those on here as well. And I'm also going to be doing, um, I can't think of the word, these things. So <laughs> I'll be right back. I've got to heat up my gun. Okay, so I got the two um, little flowers that I made uh, already glued on. Sequins, by the way. Yeah. Um, you know what? I, I don't think it's funny, but it, it is funny that I forget words like that. It's it's not funny because my mom has Alzheimer's, and lately she's been doing that, so it kind of freaks me out. Not not just that she's doing it, but that I'm doing it as well. All right, so let's um, let's go ahead and put the sequins on. I'm just going to pour it right here in my little cap and then just pick it up and put it on. I still don't think that regular Tombow glue is going to hold these sequins on this type of material. That's why I'm using the, the hot glue. And it's going to be a good excuse for me to go to Michael's, but I'm almost out of my glue sticks. So I was back and forth about whether I wanted to put the word spring on the hat. So, I don't know, still thinking about it. Tell me what you ladies and gentlemen think. All right, so I'm just gonna go around like this and, you know, pick the random colors. I, I need my, boom, there it is. Open that up a little bit. There we go, that should work. Okay. I'm gonna do this all around. Oh, that might've been too much. Okay, so you get the idea. Um, grabbing another glue stick here. I do go through these a lot when I use them, which is not very often, but I, I do go through them a lot. Okay. My son actually used this for his um, his reptile cage. He was putting in new carpet. So it's, it's come in handy in this family. Okay, oh, I just got hot glue on there. Okay, let's come back down over here. And we'll put... Yeah, I got hot glue on it. Oh, no. And now I don't remember where I put that 
little square. Oh, there it is. Um, if you guys make one of these, would you do me a favor? I would love to see your um, your hats, or if you make anything like this. Um, I, I love to see if I've inspired anybody and how you, we know what your version of it was. And like I said earlier, your suggestions and things like that, um, just send it to my email. It's um, cardcreationsbykim at gmail.com. Okay, so I'm not done putting my sequins, but I think you guys are kind of sitting there at the point thinking, I wish you would finish this hat already. Okay, so here it is, and it does hold up. I don't now that I've put the sequins on, yeah, it's stuck in the paper. Um, it does hold up just fine. So I'm going to be hanging it. You can't really tell, but I'm going to be hanging it um, probably like with a command hook or something on my craft room wall. So yeah, I'm really excited about this. Um, but yeah, show me your pictures. I'd love to see them. Thanks so much for um, coming along with me on this uh, hat making venture. Have a great day.